To say the day is starting off unusual is an understatement. It is uh, five hours and four minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, October 8th, 2020. We're beginning the vlog for the day. Uh, it When I say the time and date, it, 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 it kind of amazes me how quickly the day goes by. Because you don't necessarily, you're not conscious necessarily of the day as it goes by. So they, you're, you know, cruising along and the, the day is going and... and before you know it, you're back here again at the research desk, uh, starting another vlog. Uh, and it just seems to, then it, 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 it seems, the day seems to have gone in a flash, where, but while you're doing the day, it wasn't a flash. It, it was uh, actually chugging along pretty slowly. <laughs> but the thing is, that, that I guess this is the nature of the altered state, is that the sort of this hyper-awareness it gets you, it, I just finished doing my meditation, so I guess maybe, you know, I am meditating more, I am doing a, a, the, the, a larger uh, uh, a program of, of about five hours of uh, prayer meditation, there's two services, uh, maybe that has, it's having an impact, I, I, it should be having an impact, but you don't necessarily know exactly what impact it's going to be, I and mean, that's again, I guess that's the nature of exploration is when you're doing something uh, and you're moving forward, uh, you're not you don't know exactly what to expect because you've never been there before. This is you're doing something brand new. Uh, there's nothing like water. Well, I know in terms of a physiological effect. Uh, my body's throwing off heat like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> uh, I've measured the, the, the heat, the heat uh, uh, production, and I can I do at least uh, in, in terms of in terms of an enclosed room or, or like a, my own where I am in my bed. Uh, I'll produce at least anyway between five and uh, ten degrees worth of Fahrenheit, five five to ten degrees of uh, Fahrenheit. Difference in terms of, in terms of production of heat. That's so. Take the temperature. Let's say it was uh, to, uh, seventy degrees in the surrounding environment. Uh, by the time I finish, it's close to eighty degrees. <laughs> There's an increase of ten degrees, and so uh, it's it's amazing to see how the 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 body, the physiology, actually reacts to uh, in many cases the meditative state. Well, in many ways, I guess a sleep state is, in some ways, a meditative state. It is an altered state. Well, well yeah, you know, could be defined as such. Uh, but we'll see what happens today. Uh, I do have some deliveries coming in uh, that I should be making. I might. I have to check and see whether or not I'll be ordering anything. This week is going to be the Canadian thanks uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, a holiday created in McGill University. <clears throat> Canada doesn't really have any culture of its own. It does, but it, it, its official culture is kind of uh, we'll call insta culture. Just add water and voila, here you go. It well, what happens is because because this is the way the Canadian sort of mindset is. They don't do anything original. They always bandwagon, particularly the government and and, and a lot of these sort of called so called intellectuals and academics. They don't create anything of their own. What they do is they look around and say, okay, let me take this, let me take that. And they don't have to, what they're doing is they're putting together something that takes maybe a year to do or more, not even. And they instantly pop it out. Well, this, this is what our culture is now. I mean, for a while there we were British, then we were Australian, then we were from New Zealand, and then we, we, we kind of switched back and forth, and then we have... Uh, an Irish thing or a Scottish thing, uh, and it's basically ads from Scotland, ads from uh, Ireland, ads from uh, England, ads from Australia. Uh, various different, B uh, very different shows from the BBC. That's our standard. We don't do anything of our, of our own. We kind of, well, I guess the Canadians are servile. They're the 
they're the United Empire loyalists who wanted to be slaves to the king, to the king, and left the United States after because uh, it's, it's going to be Columbus Day weekend, and Columbus Day it does celebrate uh, uh, the uh, coming to America. That's not specifically uh, American, but it is something that's you know if if it weren't for Christopher Columbus, we wouldn't be here right now. Anyways. <laughs> Onward and upward for the day. We'll see what, it, what we'll see what the day brings. Well, it's just about noon, and it's time for another unboxing video or unpackaging. It comes in a box, but it actually comes in uh, this type of plastic package, so you can choose what to call it, boxing or package or whatever. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the beginning of this opened. There we go. Heavy but nice. It is a um, an air compressor. It's a, one of these portable ones. Uh, with again with the, the new motors, the way they they have the fans now, you like for the Dyson and stuff like that, and a lot of these cordless vacuums, you can put a good decent uh, uh, compressor together uh, for, for uh, quite cheaply. And make it a lot more portable than tip than, than than you would typically have, and so it comes with uh, a USB charging uh, cable that is charged through USB. Here's the air compressor the, the, for the tire. So it comes it comes with a it comes with a very nice kit. So. Let's take this out of its, uh, comes in a felt, very nice, very, fe uh, very nice felt, uh, um, oh, very nice. This is it here. This is the, uh, the air compressor. And so if I have a problem with, like, a flat tire or anything like that, I can, uh, because I have, I have an air compressor, but it's large. Oh, it's got a flashlight at the bottom, so it is charged. I'll probably have to go through the instructions to sort of see this, see how how this works, and then go from there. Maybe give you another video on on this actually working. But this is nice. Uh, the other one I have is a massive tank. And it's not exactly portable. This one is portable. So, yay for that. And some of the other ones I was looking at, you actually had there. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, this doesn't. This is lithium ion. It was one. So this is cordless. Uh, the others you had to plug into the, uh, a car port, but I don't have a car. I have an e-scooter, and so there's no place to plug uh, a 12 volt uh, uh, compressor in. So this does the job. Happy with that, and happy with with the end, ending ending result. I'm waiting for still today to come. I'm waiting for a delivery from uh, Fusion Grocery. So I'll put a grocery order in. Anyways, I will see you probably later on tonight. Well, it is uh, just 
This is about 7, 18, 7 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Friday, October 9th, 2020. And we are ending the vlog for Thursday the 8th. Uh, running on a 24-hour, 24-7 schedule. This is how we do it. It's up. I'm up uh, for the scheduled gaming and meditation. In many of the practices of meditation, meditation, uh, particularly in the Eastern Christian uh, uh, sense of the thing, sense of the uh, word, in terms of the path, uh, there is a rule that you that you set yourself as to how often and how much uh, meditation you're going to do. Of course, you're always trying to increase it and then eventually get to the point where uh, even when you're standing or, or in a crowd, you're still within the, the state of meditation. In other words, you want to try to make the state of meditation permanent. Uh, this is a task. It, it, it is a struggle. It is something that... that, that uh, is not an easy thing to do. Uh, apparently what happens is the gaming allows me to set that schedule, and that's what keeps me on the schedule. And it's a type of gaming that sort of uh, keeps your mind in focus and you can stay within the state of meditation even though you're gaming because the type of gaming it, that it is requires that level of focus. And so uh, the prayers are being done and said at the same time as the gaming is going on. But then it happens to have, after a while, it, it, you, you finish the gaming and you continue on with the meditation until the meditation itself finishes. So you always end up finishing the meditation laugh. And as in some of the traditions, uh, I have a meal with the meditation. At, at Near the end of the meditation, I have a meal or, or some... Uh, something small to eat. In this case, I have something known as a bullet cake. And it's basically uh, a spice cake uh, where the lead spice is ginger. And what I was supposed to say when I was sort of thinking about not so it was coming back to my mind, I was supposed to open up with uh, something different, talking about... Uh, the struggle is real. I am struggling with the editing. Uh, and it has more to do with uh, my issue of fatigue and when I'm doing things uh, than anything else. So like right now, I'm up late. I give myself a little extra time to sleep in because my body was just exhausted. And so I gave my body the chance to sort of catch up to do, to do what it needs to do in order, in order to... Um, repair itself, and that's something that, that has to be done, that it should be focused on, <clears throat> and paid attention to, because sometimes, uh, particularly at my age, and uh, my birthday is around the corner, so I am going to be uh, notching up a number, another number, uh, you begin to start feeling, not your age, oh, but that you're old, old and achy. And the thing is, is that uh, was it? Everybody struggles with the vlogs. Every start, everyone struggles with the editing, and they make their own decisions as to how they're going to continue on. And you know, in many cases, if they're going to continue on, you can't expect <coughs> someone to always continue on uh, to be a Trebek and call in terms of putting out a service and putting out a vlog for your entertainment. But that's not the case here. The vlog for for, for here is not necessary for entertainment. Although it could be an entertaining vlog, and there's going to be more components coming into this later on, but uh, at this point in time, uh, it's a vlog of research. And this is kind of uh, what I do on a daily basis, so <clears throat> vlogging has to be scheduled in. But every, every once in a while, the schedule does fall off, things occur, and the schedule doesn't get done. And again, it, it, the thought of are you worth it or, or you are worth it, the whole value of worth doesn't come into play here at all. There's just simply no refunds because I'm not even thinking about 
whether I'm worth it or not. It's just there are things that have to get done. There are certain realities, and that's how you live. That's that's how you, you approach things. You know, well, how do you do what you do? I, said, well, I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> I don't. There isn't necessarily a thought on how I'm going to get things done in terms of you know my greatness and so on and so forth. But in terms, you know, wow, I'm wonderful. I do all this great work. You know, there is no thought like that. It just work has to get done. And the length of the vlogs really depends on whether or not I have something to say or how I'm going to say something. And and working on the flow, making sure there's not a lot of spaces in between various different thoughts. And sometimes it's difficult to do. Sometimes it's uh, 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 it does come. But again, it's, it's an issue of practice. The more I practice, the better I get and the better the vlogs will be.